All right. Shalom. Call the law Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, peace and salutation to all the brothers and uh, elect out there that's uh, pushing his word of truth and sincerity. Uh, this is going to be another edition of uh, Hebrew Israelites Back to Basics. You know, just hitting on some of those uh, topics for you uh, new brothers and sisters coming in into this truth. Because there's a lot of things going on in this earth. A lot of prophecies and things are coming to pass and taking the place. Uh, you can you can literally see that the Most High is uh, speeding up the time and shortening these days for the elect's sake, as He said in the Scriptures in Matthew uh, 24 chapter. Um, and so you know, for for your new brothers and sisters coming in here, um, you know we, you know they, you kind of get caught up in in, uh, in all the prophecies and things that's going on and especially those the elders and apostles they, they they doing that and so it's our job to you know help help you uh help help the younger opium coming in alone so we, we can't we can't forget about y'all so uh like i said this uh hebrew israelites back to basics uh salvation is only for israel and i just want to bring out a few uh few scriptures just proving that this whole book is all about Israel from the Old Testament all the way through the New Testament. Salvation is only for Israel. And the first uh, first uh, scripture I want to get is uh, the most famous scripture out of the Bible, <laughs> I would say. Uh, everyone uses, especially the Christian church, uh, John th chapter 3 verse 16. It says, for God, well, for the Most High, I'm going to read it verbatim. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, when when John's, when I, when Yehoshua's state made this statement, he was actually referring to the Old Testament. Because when Yehoshua was on the scene, yeah, think about it. When Yahushua was on the scene, the New Testament was not written because he was living out the New Testament. So what did he have to study and quote from? Obviously, the Old Testament. So the Old Testament is still in play. Everything, everything from the Old Testament. You know, those there's still so many prophecies in the Old Testament. Uh, the promises are in the Old Testament. The law, statutes, and commandments are in the Old Testament. All of that. So, yes, it's very important. But uh, I'm going to get what Yehoshua was stating when he said this. This is going to be Isaiah chapter 45, starting at verse 17. <clears throat> it says, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Israel is the world without end. Israel is the one that will be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Salvation is only for Israel. And that's what Yahweh was stating in, uh, in John chapter 3 verse 16. <clears throat> This is Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 23. Truly in vain is salvation hope for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord our power is salvation of Israel. So all the other nations, their salvation or their, their uh, hope for salvation is in vain because salvation is not for them. It's for Israel. It's going to be John chapter 17, 
verse 9. It says, I pray for them. This is Yahweh speaking. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Yahweh didn't pray for everyone on earth. He only prayed for the ones whom the Most High gave him. Let's see, this is Romans eleven twenty six. It says, And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Like it said, all Israel shall be saved. It's Acts chapter 5. Verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him have God, him hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. So like, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, so repentance is for Israel and forgiveness of sins is uh, for Israelites. Uh, so check, well, matter of fact, let me check this out. First John 3, I think it's, I think it's 3 and 14. No. It is 1 John 3 and 4. Here it is. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So if sin is the transgression of the law. Uh, who was given the law? Let's find out. This is Psalms 147, 19 and 20. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So they're the only ones, they're the ones that can sin. And who who uh, Yahweh came to give repentance and forgiveness of sin? Israelites, because Israelites were the ones who was given the law, statutes, and commandments. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. Um, These twelve Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But rather... So like it, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So yes, I was stating that his message was for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And who was discontinued from their heritage? Israelites. We were lost. So that's who he came for. Uh, this is Joel chapter 2, verse 27. 
and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and I, Salaki, I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your power, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. And what it said in Isaiah 40, uh, uh, 45, 17, Israel shall not be ashamed, nor confounded, world without end. You see, you see how the scriptures are linking up together? Isaiah 45, 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord, and it shall, it shall not be confounded, world without end, with the everlasting salvation. This is John chapter 4, verse 22. It says, Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. That's who salvation is for. This is uh, Romans chapter 9. Uh, let's see. Starting at verse 1. I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Spirit, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren and my kinsmen according to the flesh who are Israelites now it's directed towards Israelites now what's after that to whom pertaineth the adoption the Israelites can be adopted back and the glory the Israelites gets the glory and the covenants the covenants are the promises which were uh, um, made with Israelites or the, and the giving of the law what we stated earlier the law was given to the Israelites and the service of the Most High. Uh, only Israelites can truly serve the Most High and the promises. Uh, verse 5. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Hamashiach came who is over all the Most High blessed forever. Amen. That's who um, That's who. Uh, Yahweh Shai came for. The Israelites. Let's see. This is Psalms uh, 111, chapter 9. Let's see. It said, He sent redemption unto his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverent is his name. This is Paul's letter to, uh, to the Romans. Chapter 10. Verse 1. It says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. <laughs> Can't you see it? It's all for the Israelites. Uh, from, from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Oh, uh, let's see. This is... Isaiah chapter 46 verse uh, 13 I bring near my righteousness it shall not be far off and my salvation shall not tarry and I will place salvation in Zion for Israel my glory 
Salvation is for Israelites. And once again, like I said, he uh the most high made a covenant with uh with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let's see. And that was to the Israelites. And this is what he said about his covenant. My covenant will I not break, nor so so he won't break the covenant. Meaning that he made these promises to his, to uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and their seed on down to uh, to present day, and he uh, he said he's not gonna break it. And check this part out. No, as uh, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. So he's not even gonna change it. You see, because uh, especially in the Christian church, they'll they'll teach well. You know, he he came to his own. And, and because his own, or because the Jews didn't receive him, he uh, he opened it up for everybody. This right here says, my covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that's going out of my lips. So if he made a promise or a covenant with Israelites, then you rest this, you rest the damn show that he's going to make good on his promise or his covenant to the Israelites. He's not going to change it, anything like that. Uh... This is uh, Psalms 135, verse 4. For the Most High have chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his peculiar people. The Lord chose, he chose Jacob, he chose Israel. Israel is his chosen, his only begotten. You know? And at the end of the day, This is who salvation is for. This is a uh, salvation right here. And when Yahweh shall was speaking. Uh, this is Matthew 24, chapter, starting at verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. The stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, which is Yahweh shall. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven, which are the chariots, with power and great glory. Uh, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Only the elect are going to be saved, and the elect consists of Israelites. How do we know that? Let me find that verse for you. Isaiah 45 and 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. Israel, mine elect. Isaiah 45 and 4. Israel is of the elect. Salvation is for Israelites. Hope you're edified. Shalom.